I'm sitting here getting ready to review Impact. I'm getting ready to record the Impact Lounge podcast. But I got to speak on Kenny King first. Kenny King has requested his release from Impact Wrestling. And it's been granted. So he is no longer a part of the Impact Wrestling TNA roster. This is one that upsets me quite a bit. He was probably, you know, if we talk like my top like four or five favorites in Impact, you know, like Kenny King was right there. And I've, you know, I've mentioned in the past that I'm a huge reality TV fan. I watched the shit out of The Bachelor, The Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise. Those are my jams. Me and the wife. We don't we don't miss those shows. So, uh, you know when Kenny King ended up on a season of the bachelorette several years ago, I was pretty jazzed about it. He was on bachelor and bachelor in paradise after that, you know, so that was really cool for me. Uh, someone that I liked a lot in ring of honor and was really happy that he was a part of the impact wrestling roster for a while, but man, he, he did really, really amazing work this run. I mean, every time he got on the mic, every time he did a backstage segment, it sounded great. It wasn't forced. It was natural. He lost a lot. He had one of the better finishers in the company, in my opinion. I thought there was some uh, meat on the bone with him and Sheldon Jean as a team that, you know, they just never, they really never tapped into what those guys could be. And I'm, I'm really curious to see what they do with Sheldon Jean now, because I thought that was a good role for him. Um, and I, I even mentioned adding Jack Price to that. But um, so we'll see what happens with Sheldon Jean because he's he's a talented dude. It, it, it was a good little thing they had going. D- again, do they win a lot? No. But the timing of this is really weird because they were clearly making cuts at the end of October. And so he, he was contracted, right? He his contract was still running. I, and I don't know, it maybe only ran through the year. I don't know. But what's really strange to me is that you've got Hard to Kill coming, and it's in Las Vegas where he lives. Um, Maybe I'll run into Kenny King one day. You never know. I ran into Angelina Love in in Missouri, so maybe I'll run into Kenny King one day. I would uh, love to chat with him. But I'm really curious on this one because um, that is, I don't know if it's his hometown, but he he does live in Vegas. So me just spitballing, making shit up in my head. I wonder if he was left off the hard to kill card or if there was just nothing for him. You know, there, there was no few, there was no nothing because when you have the rebranding of TNA, it's in your, I'll just call it his home city. You would think you'd want to be a part of that. So, You know, does he have an offer from somewhere else? When they announced that Ring of Honor was going to be a thing, I said at the time, I said Impact might bump down to like number four at this point. Like Ring of Honor could surpass them under Tony Khan, which clearly has not happened. Clearly, Ring of Honor is there with MLW and MWA. But Kenny King would potentially wrestle for that brand, right? If he got a good deal. You know, it would be a money thing at that point because there's way less eyes on Ring of Honor than on Impact. But that that's the really weird part of this to me is that you've got Hard to Kill coming. It's in Vegas. You know, he doesn't have to be flown out to the venue. He can drive 15 minutes there. But then he requests his release. So either, in my opinion, this is just me thinking, either he's upset because there was nothing for him for the show or he's got an offer somewhere else. I highly doubt it's NXT because that he's just older than what for what they're going for right now. It could be AEW, but it, it seems like a bit of an unnecessary signing. But the Honor No More, some of the you know these Honor No More guys, they're they're over there doing their thing on ROH and they're getting on Impact Tele. I mean, excuse me, Dynamite AEW Television. Maybe there's a deal for him there. But um, I hope there's something for him because I love Kenny King. It is a really disappointing 
uh, disappointing thing that we're not going to see him in this new vision going forward because he stands out and they had him, you know, wrestling for wanting to wrestle for the digital media championship to get it back. And he, and then clearly he doesn't wrestle for it. He never gets his rematch. Maybe that's why he left the company. He never, he never uh, got his rematch for the digital media championship, the championship that people put their careers on the line for and feast or fire. Maybe, maybe that's what it was. I don't know, but we definitely wish Kenny King luck. They, uh, they definitely didn't pull the trigger on him in any way that he really could have, uh, done some really special things this time around. There was even a time where they almost teased. They would team him with Eddie Edwards for a little bit, and I think that could have been something really interesting, especially in this tag team division that, you know, uh, is doing a lot better but can always use fresh teams. And I, I would have loved to see him and Eddie Edwards as tag team champions. So, you know, he goes out um, in a blaze of glory, uh, losing in a tag team championship match that he apparently didn't want. And we'll see what's next for Kenny King.